welcome to another uh, episode of Reflect. This is kind of one of the first uh, data analysis videos that I've done. So um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, let's let's get to it. These charts are from researchers at the Princeton Medical Center, and what they show is how disastrous Donald Trump's slow response was to the pandemic, to COVID-19 here in the United States. Um, there's a couple charts that are going to show us what it would have looked like if he would have acted sooner, and a couple charts that are going to show us what it's going to look like if he removes the stay-at-home orders before uh, the country's ready. So let's jump right into it. First, we're going to take a look at the uh, timeline um, for the stay-at-home orders. So along the x-axis axis here, we have the dates, uh, and then along the y-axis, we have the uh, population and the percentage uh, of population. So you can start to see, uh, you'll see in, in uh, mid-March, you had uh, California and they kind of kick started the trend of stay at home orders. And by early April, we had nearly the entire population under stay at home orders. And it doesn't get up to 100% because there are states like uh, South Dakota that don't have stay at home orders and have never put them in place. So this is a good just kind of starting point for okay, so we had, um, you know, it was kind of like mid mid to late March is when we kind of started um, getting things going with the stay-at-home orders. Now, we move on to the uh, U.S. daily new cases. Um, you'll have that that number on the y-axis, and, and of course, you have on the x your, um, your dates, your timeline. So this is what actually took place. Um, you have the uh, new cases starting to grow at the end of February, and around the 23rd, that's again, when California and some states started to implement stay-at-home orders. Um, this is this is roughly when about half the population had stay-at-home orders. If we go up, this is this is about right here. This is a third to 50% kind of in this area. Um, that's, that's right around here. That's when we're starting to see the curve bend. And the 3rd of April, that's when everyone's under stay-at-home orders, and that's when we start to see it actually start to decrease. Um, this would have been a lot better if it would have been acted on a lot more quickly, but that didn't happen. Um, the green line, green dots, green pyramids, triangles, what are those? Uh, that shows you what would have what it would have looked like if the state home orders would have been implemented four days earlier. So instead of upwards of 30,000 new cases a day, it would have been at 10,000. Um, seven days earlier, one week, that's orange. Two weeks. Is the bluish gray, and this, this red. That's when Fauci said we should have started intense mitigation. So, you know, this this just shows you when, when Donald Trump says, "Oh man, you know, the actions I took, it staved off millions of people of dying." It's like, well, okay, but we can't ignore this <laughs> like this is you being lazy this time period right here this is you refusing the stay at home orders this is you putting money over people's lives this is you being completely ignorant to what it was that you were facing and this is the result 30,000 new cases a day now let's turn it into people's lives right let's look at that daily deaths right this is when this is it starts to get intense okay so th these are thousands of people dying almost at 3,000 on the 15th of April and that's after the stay-at-home orders right this is when it's starting to bend off bend down right the third here it's the stay-at-home orders and you can see this should have happened a long time ago, right? If Donald Trump would have been listening to the medical experts, 
this curve would have been bent down here. Look at this. Hardly anybody. Right? Two weeks, less than 30. A week earlier, less than 300. Four days earlier, even four days earlier. So you're, so you're starting to see, right, this, this what it meant, you know, every day, this was starting to kind of creep up. And this would have looked a lot like a, a, a big wave here oof, where this was going to get really steep. And this would have shot up 10,000, 15, 20,000 deaths a day if Trump would have continued to refuse. But all this time, he refused. And now we're stuck at over 1,000 people dying a day from this. Could have been down here. Could have been down here if we had somebody who would have been listening to Fauci early on. This is where Fauci wanted us to act. A month after China lockdown. China lockdown late January. This would have been late February, early March. Could have acted. So there you go. Trump's laziness is why so many people are dying. So now we're going to move on to what happens if he removes the stay-at-home orders. Uh, this is the daily cases on the Y. Here we have um, the curve being bent, right? And then the full stay-at-home orders in place, line going down. Now, if it continues, if we continue the stay-at-home orders like Fauci wants us to, right? Like the medical experts want us to, we go here. And this will hopefully start to curve downwards and we'd start to see it approach zero new cases. But because we're still here, we're still up so high and he's talking about reopening economies. Boom, 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 boom. What these are, you can see it down here in the table, the green, that's if we just remove all stay at home orders, bah. three quarters stay at home orders moved. Goes up half, quarter. So it's going to increase. Any stay-at-home orders removed, it's going to increase. And this number, just like what we had before, how that, how we had this thing kind of, this becoming more and more steep. These are going to do the same thing. This is just a short projection, right? So they they won't it won't stay like this, right? It won't continue that way. It's going to continue kind of upwards. Because the more cases you have, the more and more carriers you have, the more and more people who are spreading, right? So these are all going to shoot up. This one. This one's the only one we're starting to see it level off. The only one where we would have any hope for it approaching zero. And now we go to deaths. Same thing. All stay at home. Removed. Three quarters removed, half removed, quarter removed, none removed. So here you go. Here's here's Trump up here. He's ah, I want to get this thing back open. I want to get this thing back open. There are suicides, you know. People are depressed, you know. And this is Fauci. This is medical experts. So again, let's go back. Fauci. Medical experts, Fauci, medical experts, Trump, <laughs> Fauci, Trump, Fauci, Trump. Can't be any more clear. Data is clear. Data don't lie. So anytime, you know, one of your... I mean, Jesus, if you can still uh, support Donald Trump, which, you know, 45% of the country does, show him this. Um, show him the data. Just say, hey, guys, you know, look what would have happened if he, if he would have listened. There's no refuting this.